Mr. Matt up in this bitch coming at you pre-recorded than a motherfucker live. <laughs> no, not live at all. So today we got um I don't know if I ever posted the uh the original Universal Yums video, but <clears throat> that one was a uh, box from Colombia, and if I didn't, I'll probably post it with this one. Uh, it's uploaded. I just never released it, I guess. But uh, check it out. So this is um, UniversalYums.com. I know it's upside down and probably backwards. Uh, but what they do is they take like treats from different countries, like let's say Greece, Turkey, Lebanon, Colombia, fucking Italy, and they they'll mail you like packs of you know, like candies, chips, little wafers, that kind of shit. I only got the Columbia box because I'm Colombian. And I wanted to see if I remembered anything from uh, the, the old country. And, um, yeah, I remember a couple of things. Coco Rico, I think, or Super Coco, whatever the fuck it was. But anyways, this one is a specialty box. And I didn't even notice that it's ripped up here. Come on, come on, dog. Come on, dog. But, uh, <clears throat> so this one, instead of being one country... This is actually six different countries and then candies from those countries. And it's for Halloween. And it was like 40 bucks, I believe, uh, shipped. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, it's a lot, probably a ton of candy. And I'm probably going to be way overwhelmed because I already got too much candy in this fucking house already. Uh, but anyways, let's open this hole up and see what the fuck is going on here. Why is out here? Uh-oh. I just sliced something that I wasn't supposed to. Oh, no. We're good. So, uh, let's see. I don't know how I'm going to present this. Like this. I'm trying to avoid showing off my deets. My pertinent deets. So, bam. Uh, now, it says this rips off on the top here, but I'm not going to do that. But if you could see here, which I can't see, uh, it's a gang of shit, man. Look at all this crap. Oh my God. So, the, uh, let's see. So it says, some fun assembly required. See inside for instructions. Assembly instructions, literally. We promise this will be fun, so start off by opening the bag of candy that looks most appetizing to you and eat it. Number two, yum. Number three, now it's time for a little work. Pour the contents of the candy bag that you opened into one of the white bowls until it is full. Set the bag and bowl aside. Repeat steps one through three until all candy bags have been opened and all bowls have been filled. Uh, take all the candy bags that are left in the box and put them in an accessible location for easy refills or a secret hiding spot if you want to keep them for yourself. Um, six, locate the cardboard display at the bottom of the box and set that aside. Seven, tear or cut off the top of the box. Try not to feel too bad for the happy pumpkin face. I do. I'm not going to cut that. Insert the display into the tray as shown in the picture, right? Put the bowls, I thought it said bowels, but it's bowls, in the slot that matches the candy wrapper color or see picture. All done. Get ready for some candy fun. I'm not going to do any of this shit. I'm just going to eat like one piece of fucking candy out of Oh, I see. what they're, I get it now. All right. So, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. If you're displaying this or presenting it, then I suppose, yeah, you know, you're, uh, you know, you're, you're going to do that. But, uh, so the, the, um, the different countries, it's six different countries. Colombia happens to be first, it seems, right there. So Colombia, Italy, Ukraine, Thailand, Spain, and Greece. That's pretty dope. So, uh, so what you get here, we're going to just, uh, kind of go along. So it says, hi, we want to share some important allergy information. I don't care about it. I'm not allergic to anything but work and bills. So <clears throat> milk chocolate wafer from Greece, chocolate with strawberry pop rocks from Italy, uh, creamy milk toffee from the Ukraine, pineapple sar salt hard candy from Thailand, orange chocolate toffees from Spain, and sour grape chews from Colombia. So uh, there's a lot of reading involved here, and I don't know if we got time for this, but... Uh, I think the last time I did the video, it took like three days to upload it because there was so much shit going on. But uh, basically, all right, here's the display, here's the bowls. Oh my God, there's so much shit going on here. Uh, boy, I don't know. Look at all this crap, man. There's so much shit. There's like three packs of everything here. Three of these things, pineapple, hard candies from Thailand, um, grape chew. You know what? I'm just going to eat one piece of everything. 
and then we'll leave it at that because this is way too much. I don't know. I guess I suppose I could set up the bowls. And I don't know. I just didn't want to open all this shit, but I guess I gotta open anyway. So here, I'm assemble everything here. Man, I'm making assemble. This is too much. I'm overwhelmed. Alright, I'm, I'm really overwhelmed here. Alright, here's what's gonna happen. I got my cardboard situation here. This is difficult. Alright, we're gonna put it like this, so it's gonna be like that. Alright, we're gonna put the bowls in here. Alright, it's not falling. God damn it. Alright, bowl, bowl one. These aren't even bowls, these are like Tupperware, like shits from the restaurant. Alright, so. Uh, Italy, toffers, chocolate candies, orange chocolate toffees, so that's from Spain, so we're gonna put a couple in here, Jesus fucking Christ, All right. there we go, a bunch of little candies from there, we'll just put all this shit aside, there's too much, there's too much problems, uh, totties, minis, what the fuck is this? Chocolate, mini wafers with milk chocolate. Okay, that's from Greece. We'll go ahead and, man, these stink. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be, but they don't smell that great. Oh, uh, it says like a Greek Kit Kat. Okay, all right. Well, that's, that's over too much, too many, too many of these fucking chocolates here. Man, I'm gonna have to like literally give away a ton of fucking candy here. Um, creamy toffee, milky splash. So that's from the Ukraine. Shout out to, uh, I don't know, Eastern Europe, I guess. I don't know, we got two of those, so that's, that's a, uh, whatever. We got another one of these. Uh, I think it's two of each then. Break my fucking back. I'm trying to pick all this crap up. All right, uh, so yeah, three of these. I don't know why there's so many of them. Uh, I don't know what that is. All right, so these are the Thailand pineapple hard candies with salt filling. Salt filling? Can I? Just gonna open it like that then, I guess, because this thing is being difficult. There we go. I think I'm gonna set, set this outside my door once I'm done, once Halloween rolls up. I'll just leave it at that. This is chocolate with strawberries and Pop Rocks. Choco Boom. There's only one of these from Italy. They stink as well. I don't know what the hell that smell is. And last, but definitely not least, Colombian Grape Chews with Super Sour Powder. You know, God, I see you, Colombia. I was hooking it up with random shit. Ooh, these smell good. All right, so now we got six bowls, a bunch of fucking excess candy everywhere. Uh, so that's how it's supposed to look. And then you just try a candy from each shit. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So uh, maybe maybe we'll, as I, as I chew these, I'll start from uh, I'll start from the top. Milk chocolate wafer from Greece, right here. So <clears throat> fun fact, wafers were invented in Greece. Ancient locals first started cooking the treats, then called then called Obelios in 146 BC, before, before who? Jesus Christ! Believe God! <clears throat> they poured batter between hot plates attached to the sticks like an ancient waffle iron, cooked the wafers to perfection. They, they misspelled, they put wafers to, you can't read that. They, they, they forgot the space. Uh, to perfection, then topped them with herbs and cheese. Weird. Of course, Greek wafers have come a long way in the last 2,000 years. The uber popular variety with rich cocoa cream, chocolate coating, and extra choco drizzle is definitive and delicious proof. I don't know. Okay, so it's got a little drizzle. Hmm, light and fluffy. Um, so yeah, these are like a Greek Kit Kat. Hmm. Not bad. So, um, okay. Fucking 10 minutes already. 
I don't normally do sweets, so I'm like already overwhelmed with this, but chocolate with strawberry pop rocks from Italy. It's time to transport your tongue to the small town of Nemi, Italy's famous strawberry hub. The berries grown here are anything but ordinary. They're volcanic. Um, you see, Nemi strawberries are grown on a volcanic, volcanic crater where there's plenty of sunlight and protection from winds. The result? One of a kind, perfectly plump and juicy berries. Cool, right? Here's something even cooler. These luscious milk chocolate truffles take volcanic strawberry to a whole new level. They're filled with explosive strawberry pop rocks. Oh, wait. Oh, so it's like, a, yeah, it is like a truffle. That's pretty cool, like a Lindor truffle. So I kind of want to bite it right down the middle since it's like it's got like a little perforation there. Uh -huh. Pretty good. Yeah. The inside is like white chocolate. Yeah. I don't taste any fucking strawberries, but I don't know. my stomach is making all types of noises. All right, eleven minutes. Come on, get the show on the road here. Uh, I need water. Throw me water. You got water? Playing with my nuts. Okay. I taste the strawberry now, but it's not. I thought it was like a piece of strawberry. A That's fine. I need something. <coughs> Go ahead. Try some. Mm, creamy milk toffee from the Ukraine. As huge as a huge farming country, Ukraine's cuisine has historically been based on natural goods like eggs and milk. Just one problem. These products don't last through the country's long winters, so locals develop recipes to preserve their extra milk, mixing it with sugar to create confections that could be enjoyed for months. Following the local motto, the more milk, the better. Eh, that's never a good motto. Ukrainians have since perfected their toffee to be creamier and milkier. With this milk-filled variety, you're getting the cream <laughs> of the crop. I see what they did. <laughs> so toffee with milk. Mmm. Oh. That was pretty good. Ukraine, I see you. The toffee is not too sweet. And that is very creamy and milky. That tastes like dulce leche. Like, mmm, that's really good. Like la lechera kind of tastes like that. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. All right, three more. We can get through this. 12 minutes? That's fine. Oh my God. So sweet. Now it's all sweet. The milky part was sweeter. Pause. Pineapple salt hard candy. With one look at this candy's cute heart shape. Well, let's see about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like the, I don't know, the Grinch is hard. <coughs> with one look at this uh, candy's cute heart shape, you might be able to correctly guess that Thai folks love pineapple. Who doesn't? Who doesn't like pineapple? But there's something they love even more. Pineapple and salt. So do Mexicans. Mexicans like pineapple and salt on everything. Salt on top of their salt. That we don't. Could a day... Uh, season, maybe. Season you. Get back to your video. All right. Uh, yep, if you buy fresh pineapple from any vendor in Thailand, you'll receive a packet of salt to sprinkle on top. I bet they're... <laughs> I bet their uh, their blood pressure is pretty high over there. Supposedly, I don't know. Um, to sprinkle on top, it may sound odd at first, but don't knock it till you try it. This candy's tropical sweetness is perfectly balanced by a hint of salt um, for a unique flavor fusion that'll have you head over heels. Let's try it out. Mm. Sure does taste like um, pineapple candy. I guess I'll just bite it. Okay. It's exactly what it said it is. It's pineapple, salt, hard candy. Mm -hmm. I don't hate it, but it does, it's salty. Kind of nice. It's a little, helps balance the, uh, <coughs> the sugar. <coughs> I'm choking on my lies. 
orange chocolate toffees from Spain. Here we go. Like an orange Tootsie Roll. Okay. Oh, pineapple heart candy was with a salt filling, chocolate with strawberries and pop rocks, creamy toffee filled with milk, milk chocolate wafer, like a Greek Kit Kat. If you're a Tootsie Roll fanatic, and I'm not, uh, they're okay. Uh, they, they're literally down the street from me. Anyways, this is sweet for you. You've got all the chewy chocolatey goodness of the American classic, plus one uniquely Spanish twist, orange. Orange, you glut. No. All right. uh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this looks like... Okay, I guess, yeah, because it's like a Tootsie Roll, duh. Mm, orange. You see, the Spanish city of Valencia, located on the sunny Mediterranean coast, is world famous for its small, ultra-sweet oranges, earning the nickname Orchard of Spain. And what could you pair better with Valencia's sweet, juicy oranges than rich, dark chocolate toffee? Hint? Absolutely nothing. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, yeah, no, it's exactly... It's a fucking Tootsie Roll. It's an orange Tootsie Roll. Orange chocolate Tootsie Roll. So, mm, not bad. Uh, so the Tootsie Rolls here now, I'm sure you're aware, they have fruit flavors, right? Sometimes it's like uh, probably orange, lime, uh, vanilla, which is not a fruit. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes if you eat them all at once, I can see this combination happening. Okay. One thing about toffee. It takes forever to fucking eat. Shooting for less than 20 minutes. 17 minutes right now. I'm just gonna swallow this right now. <laughs> I almost chunked to death. My stomach is turning for some strange reason. So, last but definitely not least, sour grape chews from Colombia. Shout outs to all my peoples, I guess. <laughs> and drugs. All right. <clears throat> Would you believe us if we told you you are the queen of my heart? Please don't deceive me when I hurt you. Just ain't the way it seems. Can you feel my love buzz? No? All right. I'll stop quoting Nirvana <laughs> lyrics on... on camera i might get flagged for like copyright infringement what if we told you this grape chew came from an alien planet that sounds about right that's what the colombian candy company super wants you to believe according to them it came via ufo for so from all the fucking countries you colombia has to be the fucking weirdos makes sense, yes, makes sense. <laughs> according to them it came via ufo from the exotic planet of oca loca oh my God. i think i know somebody from that planet you? Me. We can neither confirm nor deny these extraterrestrial claims, but we can say this. With a chewy texture that gradually softens, giving way to an intense burst of sour grape flavor, this candy is unlike anything you've tried before. It's out of this world. Yeah, I guess if I had to be anything, I would be an alien since I'm Colombian. And... Okay, wow, this is like a uh, little UFO mini. No, it looks actually like a gob... No. Spree? No. I forget what those candies are, but let's try it out. All right. Quickest way to lose your teeth, I guess. Try eat one of these fucking things. Come on, Colombia. Do you have that, that good a dental care out there? I don't know. Okay. Broke, broke the middle. Not super sour. Mm. Oh, my God. This one hurts to eat. Some of the sour is coming in. Now it's really sour. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what my favorite one was. Mm. Probably the chocolate with strawberries and Pop Rocks from Italy. This one's okay. It's not sweet, which is nice. Like, not overly sweet. But it's hard to chew. Mm. Yeah, so. I'm not going to read all this shit. You want to pause it right here. If you can even read that. And uh, that's it, man. 20 minutes is a long fucking time. Nobody's watching this shit anyway. I don't even watch this shit. Anyways, Universal Yums. Go copy one. Uh, thank you for watching.